Fiskerma, Falcha Orscht, Gen Lesson Show. Good afternoon. Welcome to this lesson. Today, let's look at how to compare things. I've got some common describing words up here, and I'll show you how to use them to compare things. So, starting with Blasta, tasty, delicious, nice, however you'd translate it. Mm hmm. Blasta. Um, tea is more delicious than coffee. <clears throat> it may or may not be true, but let's use it as an example. Or it might be true for you too. Uh, tea. So tea is, now we want to say tastier or more delicious. So we're going to put nas. Nas blasta. Nas blasta na coffee. Maybe you agree with it, maybe you don't. <laughs> blasta. So if something's good, it tastes good, it's just blasta. But if it's better than something, if it's tastier than something, you just put the nas in front of it. Nas blasta. Tastier. Tastier or more delicious. Gleva. Ha ti nas blasta na. Then. Nas blasta na. Tastier than coffee. Tea is tastier than coffee. Ha ti nas blasta na coffee. Gleva. <clears throat> All right, what about bria? If something's beautiful, it's bria, right? Glevria. But what if something is more beautiful than something else? Well, let's see. Um, ha alapa. Ha alapa nas bria. Na Australia. <laughs> I can hear some Aussies taking offense already. <laughs> I can hear them sharpening, <laughs> sharpening their swords. <laughs> Just as an example. Ha alapa nas bria na Australia. Scotland is more beautiful than Australia. So that nas here, more beautiful. Then, right, na, na meaning then here. Ha alapa nas bria na Australia. All we did was add the nas here. So this is one pattern that's quite common. Mm -hmm. There are two different patterns, two different um, things that will happen to your describing words. In the first pattern, nothing will, this word won't change. You just put nas in front of it. Nas blasta. Nas bria. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. So let's take a look at mor, bik, and ma. This is the second pattern here. So um, let's let the Aussies, you know, get one in here. Um, you know, take back the power. Ha Australia. So we want to say bigger, not just more, it's bigger. Australia nas moa na alapa. Which is certainly true. <laughs> Ha Australia nas moa. Nas moa. So you'll notice here, moa looks completely different to moa. And that'll happen. Mm -hmm. when, when words are used in a comparative way, 
sometimes the word itself will change. Sometimes it'll look completely different. And the best way, the most efficient way, and the way that'll save your sanity the most, <laughs> is to just learn them as you go. Because there's, as far as I'm aware, there's no pattern. Uh, there's no pattern that can predict if the word will stay the same or if it will change. Just learn them as you go and enjoy the process. <clears throat> That's my recommendation at least. Ha Australia nas moa na alapa. Okay, <clears throat> nice. What about small? Um, um, big. Big, 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 big. Mm. <laughs> a mouse is smaller than a horse? I think it's true. I haven't seen any outrageously large mice or any teeny tiny horses. I suppose it's possible. All right. Chaluchak. And let's draw the wee fella here. Yeah. Aw. Kleva. Luchak. 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 Then we want to say smaller. We'll put nas here, just like in all the other examples, but bik is going to change. Bik. Nas luga. Nas luga. Mm hmm. Na. Ech. A mouse is. Nas luga. <clears throat> Haluchak nas luga na ech. Haluchak nas luga na ech. Ha Australia nas moa na alapa. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so bik is another one of these words that will change entirely when you're comparing things, when it becomes smaller. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what about ma? Hmm. Um, maybe with my first sentence, I offended some, some coffee lovers out there, some coffee enthusiasts. So let's let the coffee lovers, you know, let's let them get in a shot too. <clears throat> Uh, so we would go with ha, coffee, ha, coffee, nas, because we're always doing nas here, nashar, nati, <clears throat> ha, coffee, nashar. A coffee nashar na tea. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just like that. So ma changes to nashar. It's another one of these that changes completely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not all of them change completely. Here are some common examples. Some of them do. Many of them don't. And many of them change slightly, but you can still see a similarity with the original word. So don't despair. <laughs> Like I said, learn these as you go. Learn these as you go, bit by bit by bit, because it's very difficult to predict, you know, if they're going to change completely or if they're going to stay the same. The, the describing words, I mean. Ha kofi nashar na ti. Ha luchak nas luga na ech. Ha astralia nas moa na alapa. Ha alapa nas bria na astralia. Ha tea nas blasta na coffee. Gleva. And this is how you compare things in the present, like right now, or also in the future, too. Mm hmm. <clears throat> so to make it future, all you would do is swap out the ha for. Mm, B, really. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, 
if, a, if coffee will be better than tea, this would just be B, and that would make it will be. Coffee will be better than tea. Mm -hmm. If a mouse will be bigger than a horse, B, B, luchak, nas luga, na ech. All you would do is change the ha to a B. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is and will be. Mm -hmm. Be Australia nas moa na alapa. It already is, but <laughs> for sake of argument. Be alapa nas bria na Australia. Be. Although I've never been to Australia. Maybe Australia is nas bria na alapa. Maybe. And then be. Be tea nas blasta na coffee. Tea will be tastier than coffee. Really, it's up to you which one of these applies. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, this is how you make some comparisons using common describing words, like blaster, or bria, mor, bik, or ma, and the little changes that happens. Really, the main thing is that we have this nas coming in. Nas. That's always an indication that it's, what's being compared is happening now. Or in the future. Nas. So you're adding in nases here. Gleva. <laughs>